Hey guys, it's no name 4505 here for an RU battle, which is a nice change, nice change of pace from the OU and UU that I've been uploading a lot of lately. So, um, yeah. So I was playing some RU because there was an RU turning on the PU tier, which is technically PU, but, um, you know, whatever. And I'm like, well, I might as well just join this and hopefully get far enough and save up a couple of good RE matches, which I actually did. I got a couple of really good matches from the tournament, and I really enjoyed it. So anyways, let me get on to explaining my team here. So, um, my team is my standard RU team, which is the main trick, the choice specs one, um, defensive Kabutops, life arm ultras, standard, um, defensive core of Tangrowth and Slow King and the standard fake out him only. And my opponent appears to be using more of an NU team, I believe. Mr. Evis says LU by PO, by PO standards, and I guess the guy was just too lazy to go get another team. So that's the only thing I could think of. Um, looking at his team, I was kind of thinking that um, he had a Garb Door and two potential Stealth Rockers, and Reggie Rock and Armaldo. So, um,. He probably has um the coil dragon tail superior um Swelo is always a huge threat and um mischievous is just I guess a cleric I'm not really fearing too much from his team to be quite honest but um I know that with my game plan I'm gonna um, have to try and keep Manetric around, and most importantly, with Manetric, try my best to, um, buff the Choice Scarf, because that's gonna be my easy way to defeat his Swelo, because Swelo, like I said, is a huge threat, and, um, really my only way to beat it, especially if Kabutops dies, because Kabutops does resist both of its stabs, but it's not gonna be taking it very well, because Kabutops really isn't the best defensive poop, but, um, you know, it does its job, at least for me. But, um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to, um, bluff the Choice Scarf on the main attrick to, um, try and get past this guy's Swelo. Um, his superior is gonna be a little bit annoying and kind of looks like the apex of this team, so, um, I'm gonna need Moltres to, um, kind of stop that main attrick. can also kind of stop it because I do have the overheat, but I don't really want to use my Nedric that way, and um, then my Tangrowth also has the HP fire for that. So that's kind of what I'm going to do, and also Kabutops is going to be important because, like I said, he's that Superior is going to be shuffling me around a little bit, so my Kabutops is going to be important to rapid spin away his hazards at his Garbador and either his Regirock or his Amalto is going to lay up. So I'm going to lead off my Tom Watson here as I'm going to go right to the Volt Switch. Off the bat, he's obviously afraid of the Choice Scarf, that's exactly what I wanted to fear. And I'm going to go to my Kabutops and just lay up Stealth Rocks because that's going to hurt his Swelo in. And even though he does get the burn on me, like I said, I'm a defensive Kabutops, so I honestly don't mind the burn that much. So I really don't care, and I'm just going to go for the Toxic to try and Toxic whatever wants to come in. And it's his Armaldo because his Armaldo has the Lumberry, and that tells me that I'm his Mischievous might not have the heal belt, so that's something that I need to keep in the back of my mind. And because this is a tourney, I'm actually trying to really concentrate and really trying. So I am legitimately keeping that in the back of my mind. So anyways, his Armaldo, I went for the Rapid Spin instead of going for the Stealth Rock because his Reggie Rock is a Stealth Rocker, which makes complete sense. And I was thinking he actually could have possibly been an offensive Reggie Rock, but um... You know, he's not just fine. His Armaldo is just a rapid spinner. So, anyways, um, that life orb damage is starting to accumulate, and I don't want this um, thing going for a rock blast on me. So, I switch out to my Kabutops as he actually goes for the Toxic. And the fact that he did get that burn on me prevents my Kabutops from getting walled. And because it's a defensive Kabutops, it actually is toxic more than the burn, so that's actually pretty good. And I'm going to go for the Rapid Spin to Rapid Spin with the Stealth Rocks because those are going to annoy my Ultras and I can't put my Ultras in here. But I'm going to go out to my Tang Growth first because I can fire off HP Fires which do about 30-ish 30, percent. 
I think that's what it is. And um, because team growth is naturally slow, um, I don't care if I get glared or not. So I'm just gonna go for the HP fire break and slip. And he's gonna switch out to his guard doors. And I'll just give some fire enough HP fires to get some damage off of things. So now I believe I'm gonna switch out to Tom Watson. Whereas he's just gonna lay up a layer of spikes. It's completely fine by me. And I'm just gonna go for Volt Switch to get some damage off because Volt Switch is my only electric type attack. So it's my most powerful attack to go for, and he's with the switch initiative to bomb whatever he wants to go for since he doesn't have ground type. And he has been in the build, so just do that. And um Yeah, that air slash is gonna take him out, so now he goes out to a sway little. I'm just gonna leave a Moltres in here for Death Father because nothing really wants to switch into this thing, especially since my Kaboo Tops is at about half health, and um, I need my Kaboo Tops to try and come in and rapid spin away those hazards. Also, I just realized that his mischievous was his spin block, or wow, dumb. And yeah, he rapid spins away my stealth rocks, and I'm just gonna go for the skull to kill him off because my Kaboo Tops can't come in and set those hazards back up later. So now he's gonna send in his sway low, and I'm just gonna stay in because I know those U turns, which is his most powerful attack to hit with, aren't gonna be doing that much. So now I'm just gonna go for the skull to try and fish with burn on the switch, in which case, his mistress comes in. And now I'm gonna go out to my blue tops right here. I honestly don't know why. But um, he ends up going for the paint split, which actually benefits me a little bit because his mistress loses health. Excuse me, now I can just lay up my stealth rocks. Unfortunately, I don't get to rapid spin with two layers of spikes. But the fact that I am using a regenerator core means that whenever I switch out, I'm going to be gaining about 33%. And those dragon tails, if I can prevent him from getting up, you know, more than two coils, I'm at, um, between my regenerator, the hazards, and the dragon tail, I'm only going to be losing like 5% health per turn. So it's actually not that big of a deal that he only has two layers of spikes up, but it's just annoying, so I go for the slack off on the switch, just to get my health up back to around 80%. Now we go to the substitute, and I go for the dragon tail, because um, I thought it would do a little bit more since he doesn't have coils up, but it's still not enough to break the sub, so I believe I go for the scald here. Now I just go for another dragon tail, and he doesn't break the sub, but I'll just do that. But, um, and I'm going to switch out to my Tangrowth because I do have the HP Fire and he's going to go for another coil and he's setting up lots of coils and he's going to be really annoying and really dangerous. So now I get paralyzed there. and yeah that Dragon Tail he got plus 2 isn't doing very much but still it's going to be really a real annoying shuffler or a pair shuffler. And yeah, now he's spreading around his paralysis and getting pair hacks all over the place. So I go for the hold switch, it does break his substitute, which is nice. And go back out to my slow king here, and I believe he goes for another sub, now he goes for another dragon tail. That's fine, and I get, um, dragon tail out to my tangles, and, um, now this fire from HP fire does 33%, which is kind of respectable. And, um, and I get dragon tailed out. And because those dragon tails still aren't doing very much, I'm actually gaining HP whenever he shuffles me out. So now I'm gonna go for the overheat here just to get off some damage. And um, I'm gonna go for another overheat to try and break his substitute, but that doesn't happen since, like I said, I'm to respect. So those overheats are only gonna be doing minus one. And then I get paralyzed here as he just goes for the dragon tail. So this is really annoying. So in comes Rock Lee, the hit on me, and he goes for the glare. And guess what? I get paralyzed again, so this is just extremely annoying and aggravating at this point. But I do carry the blaze kick on my hit on me, so I am able to go for the blaze kick as he's gonna drive the tail out to Slow King. And I'm gonna go. Now he's gonna go for the sub, and I'm gonna go for the scald. And these scalds take about two hits to break his substitute, so I believe I'm just gonna kinda leave my slow king in his death fog or two. Try and break the sub. He's gonna go for the glare, and I'm gonna go for the scald. Because, like I said, I'm just trying to break his substitutes because my hit only can still take him out, even though he's at plus two defense. With the blaze kick, so I'm just trying to. Um, Bring him my hip only safely where he's not behind any subs. So he's gonna go for the coil here as I go for this 
gold. Like I said, just trying to break his substitute. So now he goes for another one here, and I go for his skull, just continually spamming it to make sure that he can't keep something up. And now he's going to go for Dragon Tail, but because Dragon Tail is negative priority, I'm able to fire off the skull and break his substitute, and in comes his main trick to die. But I can bring in my hit only, go for the fake out, and that is going to break his sub. It's not gonna break us up, it's just gonna do nothing but you know whatever. And I can just go for the blaze kick to finish him off. And comes with this Reggie Rock, and now I can just go for close combat because I do have my unburden and activated. So even though I'm paralyzed, I still can outspeed the Reggie Rock. And now in comes the Swallow, and the Swallow is just gonna kill itself off because of its poison. And my hit on Lee is gonna die. So it's going to be double down this turn, but regardless, it is going to be the 2-0 victory in my favor. So, except your boy, that was a very good battle. I thoroughly enjoyed it, despite the annoyance of hero shuffling superior, which is actually a pretty cool set. I'm going to try it out eventually, if I ever decide to play some NU. But, um, yeah, I hope you guys are happy with some RU to try and change things up. And, um, anyways, peace.